Hey, Shaw, do you come here often? To say it, I hope I don't sound ridiculous. I don't know who this man is. I had tonsillitis all of last week, so I have no energy. Something just cracked in my back. <laughs> Wait a minute. Kobe smells like garbage right now. I think she literally peed. The way she peed on the carpet when I wasn't looking. Yup. Alrighty, shorties, I asked you guys on Instagram for questions and you gave me plenty. So it's time to expose all my deepest, darkest secrets. Let's hit it. What's your ethnicity? I love you. I think I've answered this before. I get this asked so much because I'm like, I don't know. I'm just, I just be brown. I've never done ancestry DNA, so I don't know this for sure, but I am a quarter German, a quarter French, a quarter Indian, and a quarter Portuguese. So it's all of that. It's a mix. All right, I changed into a hoodie because I got cold. Speak some Spanish for me. Mi café favorito siempre será el de tus ojos. Claire Violet says, what was going through your mind when you had the alcoholic Baja Blast? Okay, so I am a very lightweight person, which means if I have like one drink, a sip of mommy's wine, I will be... It, it, it doesn't take much for me to get crazy. So that Baja Blast had the equivalent of like four of those and I was not doing well. How do you know Kiwi was a boy? I actually didn't know. Like originally I did a quick Google search and it was like, if it is six segments on its abdomen, it's a boy. But then I looked and it had eight. So I think we're just gonna say Kiwi. Kiwi uses they, them pronouns, but Kiwi's gone now. And now I'm sad. If animals could talk, which one would be the rudest? Oh. Sorry, I have a little gunky monkey in my eyeball. <laughs> it would be giraffes. And don't fight me on this one. Giraffes would have that tall privilege, okay? They would have such big egos because they're taller than everyone else. So they'd be so mean. They're like, hey, shorty, what are you doing down there? You having fun being four feet tall? Guess what? I'm 27 feet tall. And then they spit on you. What country would you rather be in right now? That's a good one. Um, definitely North Korea. I definitely want to be in North Korea with Kim Jong Un in his mansion, getting a ride on a ballistic missile across the ocean. That'd be so fun to me. What's the saddest thing that ever happened to you? We're getting into the deep questions, mama. When I was like 15, my dog died. And in the same day, I found out I was like moving and like packing up my life to a different city. Anyways, that was a really sad day. Describe your first relationship. Like what grade were you in and how long you dated and you know. Um, <laughs> in grade six, I had my first love. I was like messaging this girl who was in my class on kick. And she was like, do you want dates? And I said, yes. And then she said, hey, boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> and we technically never broke up. We never ended that. So <gasps> I'm still in a relationship. <gasps> I've had relationships since then. So it's cheating. <gasps> have you oh, Have you recently been in a relationship? Listen, I may or may not have had plenty of relationships within the past two years that I've kept completely off the internet. And y'all just wouldn't have known. Because I'm a ninja like that. Okay. <laughs> I know I post like 20 times on my story a day because I'm that bored, but I actually am good at keeping things a secret. Do you watch anime? If so, what's a good one? I need recommendations. I used to be obsessed with anime. Like I freaking loved it. Now, um, I don't really have the time for it. And I also don't have the attention span for it. But my favorite animes are probably Black Butler, Death Note, uh, and Princess Jellyfish. Princess Jellyfish is so good. It's with this girl and she has social anxiety, but then she, but she really loves jellyfishes and it's really good. How tall are you, Mr. of the week? The ceiling is here. So um, I'm six feet tall. At like playlists and VidCon and events where you can like meet me in real life, people are always like, and I never know what to say because I literally was short most of my life. Like it literally, I only grew in the past four years. This is all new to me. What got you to start YouTube? By the way, I love you. Oh, that's so sweet. I love you too, Kenzie. Pure boredom and having zero friends and a pinch of bullying. When you don't like do sports or any clubs or really have a passion for anything else, you kind of just are like, let's make a YouTube channel. And it worked. <laughs>
<laughs> what the heck? I made my first YouTube channel in grade five when I was 10 years old. And I've been making videos pretty much every single week since then until now. And only recently has YouTube actually been my job, which is crazy. Think about what, what is your Taco Bell order? Thank you, The Week of Ben. That was like, excellent question. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I get a I get a black bean and cheese quesalupa, quesarito, quesa, I it's queso something. And then I also get a Baja Blast freeze and chips with the cheese, mama. They got rid of my, I got this like chip supreme thing. It was $1 and it was chips and beans and hot sauce and cheese. And it was very good. And they got rid of it. Every day I want to beat up Taco Bell a little bit more. Um, are you friends with this White House? Uh, I'm not like friends with them or anything, but uh, me and Jaden go way back. Like I've, I've known that dude since one year, early 2019. It was crazy. Did you ever want to be a YouTuber? Also your cricket as I caught. <laughs> My cricket? I know Betsy the Blondie did just did 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 not just refer to my mantis, which I'll have you know eats crickets for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yup. I know Betsy didn't just refer to my mantis as a cricket. You know what? I'm not even gonna answer the question because of that level of disrespect. Do you ever feel insecure from your body? Yes, very much. I know that sounds like disingenuine coming from someone who's like posts on Instagram and is all like, eh, eh. but I promise you like 90% of the time I don't like my body, a good 5% of the time I hate my body, and like maybe 1% of the time I'm like actually feeling myself and I'm like, you know what? I look good today. <gasps> you kind of look like Vinny. <laughs> I know this is a lie. I know you're hyping me up right now, but this is maybe the best compliment I have ever received in my whole life. So <laughs> thank you, do it here. <laughs> when was the last time you were in horrible pain? Bruh, not even three days ago, my ears were completely plugged from an airplane flight I took. When I tell you it was the most excruciating pain I have been in, in probably my whole life. Like it literally felt like someone was stabbing my ears. Like ah, it hurt so bad. How do you feel that TikTok is gonna be banned in two days? It's not, but I never thought that TikTok was gonna go anywhere because like when you've got an app as big as TikTok, it's like, you can't ban it like no matter what laws are put in place like it's gonna be there like the reason why vine died was because everyone left it because they got bored because vine never changed anything but tiktok is like tiktok's new and she's fresh and she's doing new things and also it got bought so like it's not going anywhere hi ben when you first got viral how did you actually react was it overwhelming by the way i love you jackie love you jackie um, it was very overwhelming because it was something that I was like working towards for a very long time, like years and years of wanting to actually get some traction on social media. And then with TikTok, it happened overnight with like two videos that went viral. And when I tell you it's the most surreal experience that I think any human can like experience, within a month, you will go from being in school and having a job and like a normal life to literally being like, flying out to LA and like in a different country and all of a sudden social media is your job and you've dropped out of school like all within a month. It's the most like overwhelming crazy experience. And that was back in 2019 when TikTok was like so small and like no one had the app. Now, like some of the people that blow up like in the hype house and the sweat house, I can't even imagine like what that must feel like to them. How does it feel to get a Corona test? How was the whole situation and how did you feel? Okay, the first time I got it, it was like a Q-tip that one of my nose she went like, <laughs> And it, it it felt funny, it felt real funny, but it didn't hurt that bad. And then I got the test yesterday and it hurt like a mother trucker. It She literally drilled to the back of my brain. I could feel like pain in neurons that never had been fired. It hurt so bad, but don't, don't let that stop you from getting tested, mama. Go get tested, shorty. Wait, so you ain't joining Zooms. <sighs> okay, I do have another Zoom video coming, but with how iconic the last one was and how controversial the last one was, I really need to make sure that this next one is like, one, entertaining, like better than the first video, and two, we don't get angry emails from PTA moms, and also get the video almost taken down six times, so we're not trying to have that. Where's your favorite place to go on holiday? Um, I really love going to Mexico. I used to go to Mexico all the time with my mom. I've been to like, uh, Puerto Vallarta, um, Cancun, um, oh, and Ca Cabo. I really love Mexico. Next time I go there, hopefully I'm a lot more in Spanish, so yup. Do you know what Q-tips were originally called? I don't. <laughs> Why? 
Why were they called Baby Goo? <laughs> I'm not looking into it. I'll just let that information be in my head. Thoughts on Nicardo Avocado. I, I looked him up for the first time literally today and like witnessed my first Nicardo Avocado YouTube video. That was an experience, let me tell you. What is your biggest goal? Um, okay, so obviously I love doing YouTube. I love doing TikTok, but it is a lot of work. And as you know, there's like no YouTubers that just keep doing the same thing for eternity. Like the people you watch now are not gonna be 90 years old making the same videos. So obviously I wanna expand. I really, really, really wanna get into acting, but I also wanna make like a line of something. And I don't know what it is. Like obviously like merch is fun to do, but I wanna do something fun, like a product or something. You know, like Emma Chamberlain has her coffee. I wanna like make like an actual product of something that I'm passionate about, but I'm not really passionate about anything other than being asleep. So I don't know what I do. Who is your favorite character in Euphoria? Um, I don't think I could pick a favorite character. I love them all so much, but I do know who I hate the most. I hate Nate. I don't like him. I didn't like him from the start. Didn't like him at the end. So how do you cook mac and cheese? I never get a craving for mac and cheese. So like I don't cook it and I don't ask anyone to cook it and I never order it. So I never eat it. Why don't you have a verification on Insta? Okay, I'm verified on so many other things. Like I'm verified here on YouTube. I'm verified on Snapchat. I'm verified on TikTok, but the the thing with Instagram and Twitter verifications is you have to have articles written about you. That's the main way that they like can kind of figure out that you're like, oh, a popular person is if you're like newsworthy. But the thing is, I just sit in my basement and I talk to a camera. So it's not really anything newsworthy. It's not like I did like a cool makeup look that all everyone's buzzing about. So I don't know, maybe one day I'll have a scandal and then I'll get verified. I don't know, we'll see. If you never became an influencer, what would you have studied in university? I actually did do a year and a half of university and I studied professional communications, which was literally like basically how to become YouTuber school. But the things they taught us were so stupid. Like it literally, like the jobs that they were preparing us for has like when you actually do the job it has nothing to do with the education like it literally just depends on if you can do it or not like there's no formal training that you can take other than how to edit that would make you a youtuber and i already knew how to edit like i've been teaching myself how to edit since i was like 10 years old so very much dropped out of that are you single and if so can we date i can't confirm or deny if i am single or not but that is private information so no one needs to know about that and with that little cliffhanger this video is done um i really hope you enjoyed learning about me getting i really hope you enjoyed this q a i hope it cleared up some of your burning questions if you want to see me do another one like this uh leave some comments in the comment section and I will read them and maybe we'll do another video. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe and turn on all post notifications. YouTube tells me that like 60% of y'all aren't subscribed. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. It helps so much. Also make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter. That's Ben of the week. And with that being said, I hope you have such a good day. Take care, wear a mask, drink lots of water. I love you. I'll see you next Sunday. Ben of the week, it's two.